Hey guys, and welcome back to Medieval. When we last left off, we actually finished the game. Huzzah! But there is one, one final task left for Dan. Now, unfortunately, uh, this task is a massive, massive pain in the balls. It's, well, it could have been something a little bit more interesting and a little bit more, uh, less repetitive, shall we say? However, we are in the interest of completion going to put all 19, I believe, lost souls to rest. Now, unfortunately, this does involve replaying every level of the game, uh, which obviously I will not do to save your sanity. Uh, I'm going to just edit where the souls are and what we actually have to do. Um, also, if I fuck up and don't have an optimal route, some levels I'm going to have to replay three times. Hooray! But the reward you unlock for doing this is absolutely worth it. So, there's going to be lots of pausing in this video. Lots of me reading notes and finding uh, the lost souls and the best route through. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. But uh, anyway, our first port of call. Cool is the sleeping village, if I can remember exactly where the sleeping village is. Come on, gone the wrong way, Dan. Oh, and the map system, ah. Oh. If you make a, a wrong, a wrong button press, there we go. Yes, you have to watch Dan slowly wind his way to the next area. Anyway, replay this level. Are you sure you want to replay this level? Um, well, we, uh, uh, well, we have to replay the level, so yes. I am sure. Right. I'm going to pause it. And I will unpause it. When we get to the location. Right. Well, let's go free one of the lost souls, shall we? We have uh, this chap here. Fisherman Forms. Fishing in the Sleeping Village. I know those fish are still in there. I'll bait them out. Okay. You do that, my friend, and whilst you're baiting them out, we'll switch up to our rather trusty throwing axe. And now, my friends, we have to slaughter all of these fish. Yes. I think most of these souls, you don't actually have to do anything. This is, uh, at least from what I can remember anyway, I haven't actually practiced doing this for a while. Because you can't practice doing this. Because, as far as I can remember, you can only get these souls once per playthrough. And I don't really fancy playing through the game the fourth time. Uh, right, come on, you dickbag. Come on, Dan, we'll make a whaler out of you yet. There we go. Oh, hey, sir. Yeah. Ah, oh, you bastard. Look, piss off, pal. Honestly. I had enough of you the first time round. Now, where are you? Let's get a better angle, Dan. Come on. Keep throwing that axe. Just like mummy showed you. Oh, I think we've got two left to get. That's not too bad. Although, I don't know if we're going to have... Yes, we've got more. No, we don't. Okay. Kind of getting defeated here by these camera angles. These horrible... Yeah, there's another one over there. These horrible camera angles. Bugger. Yeah, there is another one. God, I hate these guys. Have I ever mentioned that? That I hate these guys? There we go. Those fish are fried. You're off the hook. Why, thank you, friend. Lost soul laid to rest. Now, it wouldn't be so bad if that's all we had to do. Say, for instance, we can now exit the level uh, and get on with the next soul. But no, we actually do have to complete the level in its entirety. So, uh, I'll catch you back in a minute, guys. Now, the sleeping village's soul is just out the back of the mayor's house. Let's go talk to him. Have you seen my grave anywhere? I seem to have misplaced it. Perhaps ask the angel? She could give you some pointers. The angel must be talking about the graveyard. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. 
Off to the graveyard next, I guess, guys. So, here we are, soul hunters. We're back in the graveyard. And this leads us to the next lost soul that we need to collect. Might as well grab the money first, because, you know, capitalism. Hey, tough guy. I've got a proposition for you. Meet me by the old mindle. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, no. The one with the broken blade. Yes. The one with the blo broke The broken blade. You, can you tell it's like not even 9 o'clock in the morning? Um, yeah, the one by the broken blade. Well, he's obviously... obviously. <laughs> uh, should I just start again and just scrap this video? I've come down with a touch of the tards. Uh, that's why I need more coffee. Yes, coffee solves all sins. Ah, much better. So, that guy, we need to go to the Scarecrow Fields to uh, unleash his soul. But, we have this fellow here. Uh, a guiding angel. Well, I'll meet you guys a little bit further up. And hopefully we can set this soul to rest. So, here we are. At the angel. Let's unleash Gravekeeper Kambik. My grave must be around here somewhere. The angel can point us in the right direction. Well, okay. What direction is that, my friend? That's the chalice, which we collected many moons ago. Ah. That one. Yes, that's the grave. I'll hold on to it better this time. Nobody had better destroy it. There would be grave consequences. Is that so, my pedigree chum? Fuck you. Oh, God. Okay, well, I mean, I guess... That is a little bit... Savage, but, you know, you are talking about Dan the hero. Not much in Gallomir that Dan couldn't best. Well, that's what you get for wasting my time with these silly quests. Anyway. The next place we're heading on to. Uh, let me get this straight. So we're going to go to the Scarecrow Fields next. And then we can... Yes, Scarecrow Fields next, I believe. So I shall catch you guys there in a second. Here we are, guys. We're at the... I was going to say we're at the graveyard, but we're not. We're at the uh, Scarecrow Fields. Just where we start off. Uh, just before we get to the burning windmill there. Bloody crows piss off. Um, that's where we start down there. So you just want to come up around here. Kill the... Uh, well, push the cart. Kill the farmers that are jumping out of here. And down this little back passage is the lost soul. Some careless hag left an eye of dragon toad on the floor. Now our old coven is swarming with ants. Be a dearie and stomp them flat for me, would you? Ah, oh. Yes, so I guess we have to go back and squash and bother some ants. Well, that can be arranged. Anyway, we've collected the lost soul. Now we just need to go lay the soul we already had to rest. So, I'll catch you guys in a sec. Right, guys. Let's go see what this soul wants from us. A broken blade. Alright, tough guy. Let's see how you handle my new tougher gauntlet. Make it to the end and I'll give you something nice. Really? Okay. Well, yeah, let's go. Let's not disappoint the soul. Well, I mean, it looks pretty much the same so far. But it's just a lot faster. I think there's enemies here that weren't here before. But hey, it's been a while. Definitely a lot bloody faster, that's for sure. Still, such things don't bother our hero, Dan. And we definitely could have gone a better route around there, couldn't we? Not to matter. All that matters is we got the gold. And there's a life fountain here. So whilst Dan gets his uh, jimmies waxed with 
cleansing life force. I'm going to drink cleansing coffee. Mmm. Ah, oh, yeah. That's the shit right there. Alright, Dan. Our challenge is not yet over. Oof. Right. Let's have a look. look at this. Well, I mean, it hasn't exactly made it much harder. Although, I think I've been making games harder for many years on the PlayStation for myself. Because I've had a uh, latex skin on my controllers forever. And uh, I've just taken the latex skin off. And holy shit, I can like feel the buttons better. And even though the, the latex doesn't actually cover up the buttons, they, there is cutouts for those. Um, because the latex was thick, it was hard to feel the buttons um, like you can with the naked controller, shall I say. Guess you made it. Here's the nice thing I promised you. You have a very lovely eye. Though, uh, tough guys like you probably don't get a lot of compliments. Well, we don't. And we was kind of hoping for money and riches. But, hey. Yeah, can fill the uh, shoulder buttons a lot more as well. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> I got used to that skin so much. Oh, well. What, what a surprise, eh? Useless gadgets. I only bought it to actually protect the controller from getting scuffed. But I got the thumbstick caps on. They seem to work well. Also, um, I think with the daring dash, and it's something that I am going to try, I think the reason it wasn't triggering is because with the thumb cap protectors on and the actual skin, I think it was inhibiting the movement of the analog stick properly. Ha! Huh. Fuck. The more you know. Right, anyway guys, we are going to, we've done Scarecrow Fields, I think we're going to go to Cemetery Hill next. That seems like a plan. Yes. Yes. Cemetery Hill. So, I'll catch up when we get to the next soul. Okay, so, inside Cemetery Hill in the Witch's Coven. We have broken back into this place, and this is where we must set the soul free. Books by Firelight. Uh, really, Dan? You're going to auto-walk over the flame? That's cool. Oh, God, the exterminator's here. Let me shrink you down. Mind the growing pains. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I thought we was going to have to go back to the ant caves. I'm actually glad that we didn't, because... The Ant Caves is a bit of a bitch, the fact that it's set up to be a level in a level. Also, no issues with using Daring Dash since I've taken that skin off. Hmm. Hmm. Boy, do I feel stupid. Boom! Oh, God. Still frame rate woes, though. Ooh, nice. That should do the trick. Good pest control is so hard to find. Well, Dan is an expert. So that's another soul laid to rest. Right, now we've just got to find the, the soul trapped on this level. So, I shall come find you guys when we achieve that. And here is our lost friend, just in the corner, opposite the merchant gargoyle. Hello friend, what can we do for you? An awful little hand stole my wedding ring. It fled to the graveyard. Just past the skull gate. Give that thief a slap on the wrist. Hmm. Interesting. So, that is ye old. Uh, yeah, ye old uh, Oliviara. Graveyard's highest hill. Okay, so I guess we're going to return to the graveyard. Okay. Can't do that for a while yet. Zarek's dragons above. Yeah, that's... I think he's actually the last one we do. I'm not 100% sure. So, anyway, guys. I will finish up this level, and I will meet you back at the graveyard. Okay, so, back in the graveyard. We have just crossed the river where we start. Uh, well, technically, actually, I took a nice little ride across the graves and collected all the treasure again. Lel. And then forgot about the soul. So... Completed half of the level before realizing, oh, bollocks, there's something I've forgotten. So, anyway, <laughs> ignore that. Let's talk to the soul. I was having a great day. Then my patients murdered me. Now, it's a very medical day. 
Let's give those patients a taste of their own medicine. Yeah, sounds fun. So I'm guessing that is returning to the asylum. Anyway, we've collected a fresh soul. Now we just need to lay ours to rest. So I'll catch up with you further up. Okay, so guys, atop the highest hill, let's unleash our soul. Yield Oliviera. There's the thief! Unhand my wedding ring, you sticky-fingered fiend! Oh, shit. Uh, yes. Uh, I totally did not forget about this. Uh, give it one of them. Well, that worked, and apparently it skipped the text. So, uh, cool game, I guess. Right, well, we got a little bit of gold for doing that. Anyway, cool. So, another soul laid to rest. Let me go finish up this level, and I shall meet you guys back at the asylum. Also, I'd just like to illustrate how much of a joke these uh, wolves are with the magical sword. It's uh, certainly transformative. What's that? Three or four hits, and they're done? <laughs> anyway, see you in a bit. Right, so here we are, guys. Ah, halfway through the asylum. Now it's time to unleash Surgeon Sherman. Ring around the asylum. Whilst we're getting battered here. The patients are falling ill. Diagnosis, snake bite. So, here comes the good doctor. Somewhere, wherever he is. Yes. He has uh, come back as a vengeful snake spirit to take uh, vengeance on the patients that murdered him. And I don't blame him. Probably the best cure for what ails them, to be fair. And besides, probably a lot of fun, too. How are you doing there, Doc? Or oh, should I say surgeon? Save some for the rest of us, yeah? Bloody hell. You done? Yeah, I think he's done. Right, okay. Nope, that's not where we're going. That's where we're going. Okay, now, I wonder if he's going to follow us through to this bit. It doesn't actually look like it. And you can see just how OP the magical sword is here. Right, well, anyway. I'll... Oh no, there he is. This is still part of the challenge. I guess it just took him a little while to uh, arrive. We're just going to efficiently murder all of these guys. And that, uh, yeah, that dash definitely seems to work better now. Much easier. Now the uh, controller isn't obscured quite as bad as it was. Alright. Come on, you lunatic bastards. Oh, God. <laughs> That was a close shave. There we go. The treatment appears to be successful. Operation complete. Oh, you are a cold one. I like you. Lost soul laid to rest. Now, let's go gather up all these goodies. Grab the life fountain. Oh, much better. Oh, dude. Look at the savagery of that uh, dead corpse there. Oh, and we're so close to getting our health topped off as well. Oh, so close. Anyway, we need to rescue the Myr. Piss off, Myr. Because we have the next soul. Hey, friend. My wonderful pumpkin tower has been invaded by shadow demons. How did those horrible beasts get free? Who could have done such a thing? Well, looks like we're heading to Pumpkin Gorge next. So... I'll catch up with you fellows in a bit. Now, dear fellows, let's go and find ourselves the lost soul. He is up here. Hey, friend. What are you doing hiding? Everybody talks about the Pumpkin King, but nobody mentions the other plants. They're the root of all evil, always watching, waiting, stalking. 
If that's so, my friend, well, I'm sure we will uh, solve whatever rizzle you're bitching on about. Anyway, guys, uh, I am going to go and find... Yeah, just slaughter some more pumpkins. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, I'm going to go find where to lay the soul to rest, and I'll meet you there. Okay, time to release the soul. So, who have we got? House on Pumpkin Hill. King Free Pumpkin Patch. Right, that's the one we want. The Hermit. Doesn't look like much of a house, but hey. Those stubborn shadow beasts are back. I just want them to leave me alone. Well, we can do that. To be fair, my friend... I, it seems to me that you've passed on. But unless you intend to haunt your house, I wouldn't worry about these things too much. Come on, you bastards. Have you... Have you glitched? You've glitched, haven't you? Yes, you are stuck in the boulder. Ugh. Thank you, Sir Dan. You are a true hero. Please find... Whoever freed those shadow demons and bring them to Justed. Uh, yes, I will certainly do that. Soul laid to rest. Okay, so it looks like uh, we are off to um, the pumpkin serpent next. Yes. So I'll catch up with you guys when we get there. Alrighty, so the lost soul for the pumpkin serpent level is right here next to the witch's cauldron. I grow weary of that noisy phantom's meddling melodies. Make his organ pipe down before we give him a sound thrashing. Oof. Well, okay, sir. We shall see what we shall do about that. But first, we have a pumpkin king to defeat. Right, now with that overgrown vegetable out of the way, we can unleash and free the soul. So, Peter Peter Pumpkin Weeder. Those are the seedy plants. Cut them down to size. Okay, well, I mean, we can do that. Ten remaining. Oh, well, we fought these things before. No big deal, I guess. Alright, let's not get too close to the exit there. The seedy plants, you say? Well, that won't do. No, sir. Seven remaining? Six? Wait a minute. Did, did, did we gain a plant to kill? Four? No, I thought they were respawning if we didn't kill them quick enough, but I guess I am wrong. And I don't mind being wrong. Sometimes it's good to be wrong. One plant left. Get fucked. Those potting plants have been uprooted. Our farmlands can finally turn over a new leaf. Oh, yes. Yes, I guess so. Right, not bad. Not bad. Uh, we are making some pretty sterling progress there. And that is an epic shot. Oh, God. So is that. Of Dan. Now, let's go to the hilltop mausoleum. Because that is our next port of call. But, I shall catch you further down the road. Ah, we find ourselves in the gaze of the stained glass demon. But here is the lost soul. Rhinotars are in the maze. Cleanse them of their vile ways. Aye, it shall be done. So, Rhinotars, you say? Excellent. Our magical blade likes to drink deep of Rhinotar blood. Anyway... Uh, I'm going to continue onwards. I'll catch you guys a little bit further on. Right, so this is a bit of a long-winded one. Right. We are at our organ friend. Where phantoms play. He lost his music again? He can't even carry a tune without your help. Find his music sheets and let us rest in peace. Yep. So, we've got to find 40 sheets of music, which are scattered throughout the entirety of this level. Which is kind of a dick move, but hey, I didn't make the rules, damn it. Although, we've already got a good chunk of them. 14, not bad. 15, damn, they're just sprinkling these motherfuckers everywhere. 
That's fine by me. I mean, that is a serious amount of music, let's be fair. Bit of a dick move, uh, hiding them in every one of those graves as well, because I can imagine that would be quite the easy thing to miss. Alright, not bad. Now, let's go this way. Kill these damn imps. Purge! Purged. There we go, the floor is collapsing. Well, fuck the floor, let's go. Let them die. Now, one concern I do have... I hope there's no knights down there. And I might have fucked that up, but I don't think I have. So we're up to 28. Good. Good. This is good. Okay. We're on 31. We like it. Yes, sir. We like it. Is there another one here? There is. 32. Wonderbar. Wonderbar. Not bad, Dan. Oh, great. Right. Well, let's shatter the ice. Or the glass crystals, I should say. 35. I'm happy with that. And this game is so loud, I can kind of feel myself shouting into the microphone. That's better. Right. Copper shield is low old dog shit, really, but we'll have it. Uh, th oh, God. Throwing daggers, really? Right, come on, Dan. Let's push this bloody thing. And, wow. I might actually have to cut this video off in a minute. Jesus, this might be a two-parter. I knew this was long-winded, but fuck me. Right, let's burn your beating heart. Now, is it actually worth all of this effort in this game to uh, unlock the PlayStation 1 Classic version? Um, yes. Uh, I actually think it is, because... You know, it's kind of interesting to go back through and get all these like weird little challenges and whatnot. And to actually unlock the OG game, that's pretty ingenious. That should do it. We'll call you back for, f uh, for future noise complaints. Mm-hmm. Right, so that's the soul appeased. Now it's just time to go and fight the demon. Uh, well, might as well do that on camera I suppose because we're on 27 minutes let's see how much easier the stained glass demon is with the improved weaponry ah uh, yes yes right okay come on you bastard let's see that heart of yours and uh, that was stupid of me let's try and do this without as much failure as last time I actually did a pretty piss poor job on this boss First time round. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Ripped him apart. That was brutal. Oof. Go home, sir. You're not ready. Alright, not bad. Well, there we go. We found the skull key again, although we kind of already had that. Ah, uh, there was a health fountain, so you might as well top up on a bit of the old health before we head on. There we go, not bad. Uh, golden shield's taking a little bit of damage, but that's fine. Alright, let's get out of here. Smell you later. Okay. So, next port of call is the Asylum Grounds, but that will be in the next video. I think we're about halfway through these now. Uh, they do get a little bit longer as we go through, I think. Some of the tasks get a little bit longer, more drawn out, but not too much. Um, each, I think that's one of the more frustrating parts about this, is the fact that each... Uh, bonus quest, each lost soul task is actually really trivial. Um, would have been nice if they had just given us some bonus levels or something or some hidden stages, but I mean, what they've done here is okay, it's good, it, it's fine, but once you've done it once, it's kind of tedious to go back through it. Uh, luckily, like once you've unlocked the PlayStation 1 version of the game. You never have to um, unlock it again. It, it's permanently available. Uh, I assume as long as you don't delete your save. So maybe it's locked to your account. I'm not sure. So luckily you do only have to do this once. But anyway. 
Uh, when we come back, I guess we're going to make our way to the Asylum Grounds. I'm pretty sure we're halfway through now. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time. <laughs>